Setting up your Waterbox FLED light is quick and simple, and in just a few steps, you'll have a stunning light that brings your aquarium to life. Let's walk through the process together so you can get everything programmed and running perfectly. First, let's get familiar with the controller. It has a few key buttons you'll use to set everything up. The power button turns your light on and off. You'll use the plus and minus buttons to adjust the intensity of the light, and the M button is your mode selector, which comes in handy for programming. There are also four buttons labeled W, R, G, and B, which control the color channels, white, red, green, and blue. The first thing we need to do is set the controller to the correct time. This is important because your light will follow the schedule every day. To do that, press the plus and minus buttons together until the first two digits flash. This is where you set the hour. Just press plus or minus to adjust it. Once you've got the right hour, press the M button to move to the minutes and do the same thing until you've got the time set perfectly. Once you're done, press M to lock it in. Now your Waterbox FLED light has two modes, depending on how hands-on you want to be. Let's start with mode one. This is a manual mode where you set the intensity of each color channel, but there's no timer function. You'll need to use the power button to turn it on and off whenever you like. If you want more control, go for mode two, which is what I recommend. In mode two, you not only set the intensity of each color channel, but you can also program specific on and off times so that your light automatically follows a daily schedule. To get into mode one, press the M button once and you'll see zero one appear on the screen. From here, you can adjust each color channel individually. Just use the plus and minus buttons to get the intensity exactly how you want. Once you're happy, you're done. Just use the power button to turn the light on and off when needed. If you're going with mode two for more automation, press the M button twice until zero two shows up. Now we can start programming the schedule. Let's say your first light schedule. To program the on time, press plus and M together until the first two digits start flashing. Adjust the hour with plus or minus, then press M to move on to the minutes. Once you've set your on time, we'll do the same thing for the off time. Repeat the process, adjust the hour and then the minutes and press M when you're done. Next, you'll see the first color channel appear on the screen. Here, you can tweak the intensity of each channel using the plus and minus buttons. Once you've adjusted the first color, press M to move to the next one. Keep going until all the color channels are set the way you want them. Your light is now customized to your preferred intensities and programmed on a timer. If you'd like to add a second light schedule, simply repeat the process, but this time, press the minus and M buttons together to access schedule two. If you wanna take your lighting to the next level, you can even program a sunrise and sunset period for a more natural effect. This will gradually ramp up and down the light, simulating the sun rising and setting over your tank. To do this, press and hold the M button for about 10 seconds. A number will appear on the screen representing how long you want the sunrise and sunset period to last. You can choose anywhere between zero and 180 minutes. Use plus or minus to set your time, then press M to confirm. And that's it. With your Waterbox FLED light now fully programmed, you're all set to enjoy your aquarium with this beautiful customized lighting schedule that works around the clock. Whether you want a simple manual setup or a fully automated experience, your aquarium is gonna look amazing. To learn more about the FLED light or any Waterbox products, visit waterboxaquariums.com.